Dad! Oh, Dad! Oh, Dad! What? Oh, Seriously, who else but James Bond could step into the role of Indiana Jones's father? Well, only E.T. has Harrison Ford and Sean Connery breaking down how they created their unforgettable on-screen dynamic. Dr. Jones. Yes. yes. Well, he's a very good actor, Harrison Ford. He says the same yeah. to you, by the way. Well, he better, I'm his dad. <laughs> kill us. I know, Dad! Well, I was pleased to do it. I mean, when we finally found something that we all were excited about, we being Stephen and George and I, it got to be real exciting, actually, when we got thinking about the cast. It was a very wise idea to bring Sean into the, into the formula. I was anxious to work with him at, just as another actor. There's some physical similarities, similarities in, in, in style and attitude of, of Sean and I that I think work well for the characters. Not that Jones, the other Jones! It was originally Spielberg's idea that I should play the father, but uh, one wanted to get as much aggression as possible, more of a sort of European concept of a father and Victorian, not so understanding with their children as Americans are. You left just when you were becoming interesting. I love it when he calls him Junior. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so it's perfect. It's a great running gag, yeah. No, Dad, you listen. Junior! 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 Don't call me Junior. You begin to understand why he's the boy he is because you see him as a boy in the movie, and then you see him as he is with Indiana Jones. Well, there's a vulnerability that everyone has with their father that it's, it's unlike an, a, a vulner, the vulnerability that you have with everybody else. And I think it's a part of everybody's experience. There's a, ring of, a real ring of truth to the relationship between Indiana Jones and his father. I just wasn't ready, Marcus. Five minutes would have been enough. And this kind of father, it starts to explain a lot of things equally when they have the problem, when the father thinks that he's lost him. Like most people, it, rather too late, he think, realizes, my God, I really had a lot of things I should have said. I would not have been pleased to do it if we hadn't been able to expose a side of Indiana's personality that we hadn't seen before. Uh, some more depth of character I thought was necessary. And we, and we got it in spades, I think. That's his name. Henry Jones Jr. Like Indiana. We named the dog Indiana. But equally, going along, that they become almost like a team. So it scored on all the points, I think, which gives it a bit of a zizz at the end, you know, when they're all kind of riding off into the sunset and that, uh, after the grail sequence. After you, Junior. Yes, sir. Ah! How do you explain this guy's appeal? He's not standard hero. He's not standard leading man. Good looking son of a bitch, isn't he? <laughs> the movies are very successful. The movies, I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about their financial success. I'm saying as movies, they are very successful movies. That's why. That's why, that's why we, we like them, because they work as movies, and we like movies. <laughs>